um, because we're, we're um, upset with the decision making that's happening in our islands with regards to the military. And now, and now we, we did interviews with Mr. Jamila about you know what the military said is going on over at Bellows and the reasons for being closed. What you guys are saying? We're saying that the, the military is manipulating the situation. They're polarized and uh, a small issue compared to the continued abuse that they themselves have created. And so we believe that it's heavy-handed, that it's again, again one-sided, and we feel that they have, uh, what do you call it? They choose to separate us because we have worked together for the longest time shut the base down based on one person's opinion does not represent the majority. What do you feel when you see those pictures though that we had of the, the destruction to the beach? Well, they should show you the 23 sites that we've cleaned in Bellows. That destruction outweighs what was presented. So you're saying, you know, a few people to ruin the beach shouldn't affect everyone? Yes, I believe that, you know, if we're partners, that they should have come to us instead of polarizing the incident because there's so many destruction that the military have done to the islands and then to to have three people and polarize this one single event destroys the relationship that we have been working for so long. And, i mean even though it's for a month obviously you guys are still pretty angry well partly because people people have uh, participated in the process to get a permit they stand in line for like one month, two months earlier. They plan events here. And to just one person's, a colonel's decision to shut it down, that impacts the whole state of Hawaii, the island of Oahu. I think that's, that's wrong. That's so wrong. What should have been done after seeing those kind of horrific pictures? They should have met with the community. We have already um, different groups that meet with the military. We've done cleanups before. I myself have done cleanups since 1985. Why use this certain incident? You know, why at this time? You know, so I feel like they uh, have a hidden agenda. They choose to punish us for speaking out. You know, so uh, the retaliation to me is unwarranted. And, and so that's why we're peacefully demonstrating against their decision. And obviously your signs are just saying that what? Free bellows. <laughs> yeah, let us let us go on and, and um, utilize the beaches like how we have all these years. Thank you. Your name? Mabel Spencer. M A B E L. Okay. S P E N C E R. And you are Manala resident. Yes. Okay, thank you. To what she said? Yeah, um, I'd like to add that why Manalo, is crown lands and according to Hawaiian Kingdom law there's only three entities that can be on this land the king the the, the chiefs the kings, and the native tenants the native tenant is every Hawaiian with just one drop of Hawaiian blood has more rights here than the military so my purpose of being here is to educate the people about the laws that I research and to let the military know that their propaganda is not going to work. They need to give us our land. We had a, a community plan in 1985 and it still has not been implemented. The military has worked with people inside the state to gain access to our lands. And those lands should have come back to us. And, it's, and they're seeming to say, well, you know, they have jurisdiction. Well, show me your title. I'll show you my title. I'll show you that I have a kingdom grant from Kamehameha III that gave the rights to the native tenants. And they didn't say give it to the United States military. So you're talking about rights to the beach? All of Waimanao. All of Waimanao. And including the beach, especially the beach, because there were fish ponds down here, that they covered up bulldozed. We had our tower collections on burial sites, and they have bulldozed that too. So I mean, don't talk about broken cans or broken bottles and cans. Let's talk about the true destruction that you that they do to our people. You know, pollute the water, cause danger to our kids. 
because we don't know if any live ammo or anything is in the water. And denying the people to use the beach by the military to me, it's outside of their overreaching their jurisdiction and they should pull back their arm and work with the community. Or you know what, brother? Just give up the lease. You know, their lease is over in 2017. For myself, I don't want to see the military here anymore. I think they should go and go with their plan because they still have to answer to questions of occupation here in the island. You want to talk about plan? Let's plan that. Let's plan for the deoccupation of Hawaii. So when when they're using the reasons for these bottles and you know, trash and people you know four wheeling on the roads or on, onto the beaches instead of onto the roads, um, what do you think should have been done when they when they see these sort of things come to the community and try to work out a cleanup plan? Yeah, because a lot of those people that drive on the beaches are military. They're with their big jeeps, their big tires. You know, they don't understand the, the culture of this property, these lands. People, they live on the sand, some of them. You know, you can't drive your, and they do that out in Kaena. They do it in different beaches with their big trucks. So, you want to talk about destruction? We'll talk about destruction. So being out here, you guys are totally just letting the military know what? We're not giving up our land to them. No way. No way. So it's more than just that, this month long beach closure. Well, let's just say it's always been that way. But they have said, oh, well, let's work together. Well, I never worked I mean, with the them. beach closure that they're doing for a month. This yeah. is more than that? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. It's always been more than that. Because Hawaii was never annexed to the United States. It's still an independent country. And how do I know? My husband took a case to the world court. And they came back and said the continuation of the Hawaiian kingdom exists. International attorneys who are experts in these things. So I think that the military, what they're doing is basically what happened with the seated last decision in court. And um, they're afraid that the state and Linda Lingo and Oha and all these people are not native tenants. So this has all come about because of the beach closure. Yeah, yeah. I think it's come to a point, you know. We're all stressed out. There's a lot of problems with the crisis. The whole mortgage thing has come crashing in. And so we find a lot of um, discrepancies in what the military is trying to do here in Hawaii. If we cannot build our houses on the beach, what makes them think they can build two or three story um, rest and relaxation places? They can go to America and go rest and relax. Thank you. Your name again? Kaveni Tanui. Tanui. Okay. K-A-N-U-I. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I'm an Manalo resident. Yeah. Okay. And you are? Rian. Rian. Nice. Yeah.